can Japan's female robot get pregnant? AI baby coming? Japan leads the world in development of industrial robots. Seven out of ten top robot manufacturing companies are based in Japan, and it is precisely due to this reason that Japan is unparalleled in terms of machine learning, algorithms, and AI. Now, in this video about Japan's superiority in robotics by talking about the latest female robots which can get pregnant, so stay tuned. Now before we continue further, I request that you subscribe to the channel. Thank you! So, in case you missed the intro, this video is all about robots from Japan which can get pregnant. A novel application of AI and robotics technology. Industrial robotics has been the hallmark of Japan for quite a while now, with companies like Kawasawa, Epson Denso, and Mitsubishi leading from the front. In terms of startups as well, Japan dominates the global market in innovative robotics. This is an important reason why Japan is attracting foreign direct investment in this field. Japan deserves this global recognition because it has been working in research and development related to robotics since the 1970s. The first application of robotics was in the field of electronics and the automotive industry. It was in this field that we saw for the first time the burden on workers in the field. Now let's jump straight into the big news. Japan has managed to create a robot which is capable of bearing children. This robot has also been released to the public at large. In this case, the fully capable working robotic wife he purchased. The whole thing sounds rather appealing, but the only thing that can change your mind is the price tag. The child-bearing robotic wife can cost you about $345,000. The corporations have made use of this hefty price tag to build exclusivity. You can only buy this robot once you are extended an invitation. Now, let's talk about the features of this robot. You can get a robot which can deal with cooking, house chores which include doing the dishes as well as cleaning. You can also take this robot out for a date, if you're not afraid of people judging you, that is. Additionally, you can also get the robot pregnant through an artificial womb. Now, this is pretty much a robotic replacement of a wife, don't you think? Other people tend to have a similar opinion. They say that this is the end of a woman's involvement in the romantic life of men. But it can also be said that Japan's robotic industry has sought this innovation to expand robotics everywhere, including homes. Japan already has a lot of robots which are designed to perform specific chores at home. At work, the same robots provide an excellent level of efficiency without compromising on the overall work quality. Now, having a robot who has the capacity of being pregnant is only a natural extension of Japan's robotic industry. Let's go ahead and meet one of the most famous and publicly loved female robots from Japan, called Erika. Erika is bringing a revolution in the field of robotics and is widely regarded as one of the most attractive humanoids. Now, another fact which needs highlighting is that this robot did not originate from a dirty garage of a deranged scientist. Rather, brilliant minds from all over Japan got together to design Erika. For instance, the Advanced Telecommunication Research Institute, International Osaka University, University of Kyoto worked together on this project. The team was spearheaded by Professor Hiroshi Ishiguro at Osaka University. The inspiration for designing the facial features of Erika came from the gorgeous faces of 30 extremely beautiful women. Due to advanced machine learning, Erika is able to answer almost all questions with gestures which resemble a human being's. Erika's speech is also very clear and is now able to comprehend and react to queries in a human-like fashion as well. Back in the 90s movies used to show the same concept and called it androids, Japan has brought this version to reality. The robot acts like a human in almost all important matters, including blinking and speaking. These robots are therefore interactive and can not only recognize speech but also respond to it in a way humans would, and Erika is able to do all this with hyper-realistic facial movements. The focus is now on finer subtleties of human emotions, which include frowns and smiles. Realism surrounding a robot is producing an effect called as Uncanny Valley, which is a sense of unease when humans encounter a robot which resembles a lot of human beings or sense of unease can be conquered rather easily. 
done by just making the robots beautiful in design. For that purpose, a hyper-realistic skin is designed, which has caught a lot of attention recently. All of this, of course, follows from having extremely real expressions and responses. All of these developments say something about the bigger picture. Japanese robotics companies will account for more than 50% of revenue in the next 15 years. This means that robotics industries now have the potential to employ almost 1 million people, and their gross income could amount to $70 billion. Besides Erica, by the way, there are other robots too, such as Sophia, who has 166,000 followers on Instagram. We do not know if the corporation behind her is pushing her popularity on social media or is the robot behind its marketing. But back to the real existential question. Do you think these robots can substitute real women from the lives of Japanese men? Feel free to comment below. Also, do not forget to leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching till the end. See you in the next one.